Hey friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead, and today I'm going to show you how I make a big batch of brownies. So, be right back! back and we are going to make a huge batch of brownies. It'd be like a, a half sheet cake pan. So the first thing and I will list the ingredients in the bottom of the video but the first thing is seven eggs. Yes seven preferably large eggs and room temperature. They work better room temperature. They blend better. So we're gonna I'm gonna turn my mixer on and we're going to mix these eggs. We're just going to mix the heck right out of them. Get them all well blended in there. All right. That's pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add four cups of sugar. I know this sounds like a lot, but it's a big batch of brownies. We're going to put four cups of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, two cups of cocoa powder, and I'm going to do one tablespoon of vanilla. Put that in there. One tablespoon of vanilla, and I'm going to do two teaspoons of instant coffee. That will really enhance the flavor of the chocolate. And all my ingredients are room temperature as well. So we're going to mix that up real careful. Get that mixing. I'll let that mix and I'll be back. Okay, now while that's mixing, I've got one cup of melted and cooled butter. And we're gonna go ahead and dump that right in there. And we're gonna, we don't wanna waste any of this. All right. I'm gonna stop it for just a minute. I'm gonna scrape down these sides. I want everything in here mixed up really, really good. And the bottom. Don't forget the bottom. Get it all scraped down and... My gosh, that's wonderful. Okay. And I'm going to pour in one half cup of milk. And I'm going to put my flour in, but I'm only going to put a little bit at a time in here, real slow. And it will all fit in here. You won't have to get a bigger bowl or anything. You can certainly um, do a little bit of algebra and you can divide this in half and make a smaller batch or you can even make you know double it but it is fantastic and the reason why I'm making such a big batch is because my husband and all his um, friends at work I tend to spoil them with goodies and I give them a one day a week I send in something you know yummy and they love it and they deserve it they all work so hard So, I'm going to lift this up a minute and scrape this down. Can't see too well. My arm's in the way and I'm sorry. I'm 
scrape my. All right. There we go. We'll get that mixed real good. And as soon as that's done mixing, folks, I'll be right okay. back. Okay. We are back. And there we go. That is all mixed up. Wonderful. Take this. If the grandkids were here, you know, if my husband was here, he'd be after this. What is it about the beaters? Everybody loves the beaters. Okay, I'll set that in the sink. Lift my bowl out of here. I'm going to move this back so I have room. Okay, so here is my pan. And just to be certain with you, it is uh, 18 by 13 size pan. So it is um, a half sheet pan. So, alrighty, we are going to dump this in here. And you know what? Before we do that, I need to set my, t my stove to 350. It'll be ready to preheat in a minute. Okay, we're going to dump this right in here. And this is a greased pan. And this is a huge amount. They are going to be so happy with this. And then while these are baking, I'll show you the frosting that I put together for it. Just so that you can have the entire recipe all together. And you, can, you don't even have to frost them if you don't want. They're wonderful, even plain. Okay. Now we're just going to spread this out. And you can't, absolutely do not use a pan any smaller than this for this much because you'll, you'll have a mess. It'll be all over your oven. So if you want, if you got a smaller pan and you want to do this recipe, just um, divide it down. And you know, I can put it in there too. I can divide it down and put a recipe for a half sheet cake or a recipe for a quarter sheet cake both down below my movie. So I can do all that. All right, well, we got this all here. More in the corners here. And this batter is beautiful. All right. There we are. Now this, friends, is going to bake for 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And when it's done, we'll be back. Okay, friends, my oven is set at 350, and here it goes. I'm just going to put it right on my top rack, about midway in my oven. Set my timer for 25 minutes, and we're good to go. We'll see you in a few. Okay, friends, we are back, and I've got the, uh, it's got about 10 minutes left to go on the brownies in the oven. So, in this meantime... We are going to go ahead and put, you know what, i got to take that out first. We're going to put all our ingredients in here for our frosting, which would start with four cups of powdered sugar. And just put it all in there. You don't have to do this in steps or stages. Be two-thirds cup of cocoa powder. And of course, I like my teaspoon of coffee makes it wonderful. We're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. We are going to do one cup of melted butter and one half cup of milk. All right. Now we're going to put our whisk mixer on here. I'm just going to start doing it real slow. Oh, yeah, we'll help it to plug it in. I'm going to start it real slow so we don't have a white kitchen. You can see that in there. And I'm just going to mix this until it's nice and fluffy and the consistency that I want for my brownies. Hold off one second because I'm going to scrape those sides down. I'm 
want to make sure there's nothing left or stuck on the bottom. I want all that goodness in there. Scrape that on the beaters. Put it back, and here we go again. All right, friends, let me mix that up, and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, this is whipped up nice and fluff. Fluffed? Fluffy? And you can see it. Nice. That will be perfect for my brownies. Spread on the top of my brownies. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, that's it. So when the brownies are done and I'm ready to frost them, I'll bring you back and show you. We'll be right back. Ooh, that's okay, good friends, too. I am back. And this is nice and cool and ready to frost. So I'm just going to dump this right on the middle. I think I got it all. Okay, I am just going to spread it all around. Making sure I get all the edges. Oh, this is nice. Then I got some beautiful walnuts to put on it. Okay, I'm going to turn this a little without dumping it. Is good. Okay. Give it a little bit of a design in there. Oh my gosh. I think I wash my hands. I was licking my fingers. That is finger licking good. Okay, let me dry my hands. And now I am going to sprinkle walnuts on it. And this is going to be beautiful. And the guys at my husband's work, I think they'll be happy tomorrow morning to have a nice fresh brownie and some coffee before they have to go about their day. Now, I'm going to put this in the fridge and let that, everything cool, or in the, I put it in my freezer and let it chill and uh, set up all that good mumble jumbo and this will be wonderful. So there you have it, friends. A beautiful big batch brownies. And you know what? We're going to try one. Or a little piece of one anyway. I'm just going to use this and I'll cut a little sliver over here where you can see. And that first one always is a little hard to get out. But there you have it. Look at that. Is that ever beautiful? Mmm. Oh my goodness, is that good. You really have to try this. This is fantastic. All right. There you have it. Your big batch brownies. Give it a try. These would be good for a bake sale, too. Or a uh, church potluck. Or a birthday party. Anything. These are wonderful. Very moist. Um... They're good. 
I'll put the recipe down below in my video. And y'all give it a try. And thanks for watching.